Hello friends, I am Anil Dhawan and I am back with another Excel function video. In this video, I am going to talk about find function and its uses part. Before we take examples, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do it right now and hit the bell icon to get notified for my next uploads. In Excel, find function can be used to find the position of specific character or substring within a text string. And function by default returns the position of first instance value always. Function is also case sensitive, so be careful when you are finding the position of any specific character. So let's have a look at the syntax of the function. This function takes three arguments where the first two arguments are mandatory and the last one is an optional one. The first argument find text is the character or substring position of which you want to find. So here we insert small letter e within double quotes and then in the second argument we have to specify the original text string in which we want to find out position of this argument. So in this case we specify this dummy text which is located in cell c9 and then in the third argument we have to specify the starting number position from where the function will start looking for this character. But if we skip this argument function by default will start looking from the first character and will return the position of the first instance. So in this case we skip the third argument and then we hit enter. The moment we hit enter function return the answer as 14 and if you go to dummy text you would notice that the first e which is in capital appeared at 11th position and the small e appeared on 14th position and the 14 as the answer we can see here. Since find function is case sensitive so it ignored the capital letter e which appeared on 11th position. In the second example we have to find out the second occurrence of space using multiple methods. So to start with we first enter find function and we tell function to look for space in this text and if we do not provide the third argument we know that function would return the position of the first space in this case. But in order to return the position of the second space we first have to cross the first instance and then only we'll be able to get the position of the second space. So let's get into the function argument and in the third argument which is going to be the important argument in this case we enter find functions again and we'll repeat the arguments and tell function to look the space in this text and then when we close we know that the last argument would return the answer as 5. But since we have to return the position of the second space we add 1 and that will supply the value as 6 to the main function and the main function will start searching for the space from the 6th character onward and will find the next space on 11th position and the same we can see it here. The second method is much easier than the first one since in the first one if you have to return the third occurrence, fourth occurrence or fifth occurrence you will have to nest that many number of find functions inside it. So in this case we will start it once again with find function and in the first argument we have to look for any character which you do not see in this case and for now I have entered hash here and in the second argument I enter substitute function and tell function to look into this text replace space with hash only of the second instance. So in this case when I close substitute and find function the formula returns the position of the second space as 16 and if you look at this dummy text we have got Microsoft Excel is excellent where the first word Microsoft has got 9 characters at 10th we have got the first space and the next 5 characters contain Excel and then the second space appeared on 16th position and the position of the same we can see here and if you have to return the position of the third occurrence you simply have to change the instance number of the substitute function from 2 to 3 and then hit enter and you would notice the formula is returning third occurrence of space this time. Alright, now move it on to the third example where we have to extract the first name from this name field. So we enter left function which is used to extract characters from the left side of the text. In the text argument I refer to cell C20 and then in number of characters I enter find function and then look for space in this text and then I tell function to subtract 1 since I am not interested in returning my answer along with space. When I close this formula and hit enter, I can see the formula is returning only the first name and when I drag this, it will return only the first name for us. So now we know that the best use of the find function can be seen only when it is combined with other functions of Excel. If you like my video, 
please do leave your feedback in comment window and subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. Till then stay tuned and keep enjoying. Happy learning. Have a good day.